This tutorial is the first in a new series on my channel called the Plugin Killer Series, where we replace plugins with code. So we've reduced the number of plugins on our site with simple pieces of code, and hopefully our sites go faster because of it, and they'll definitely be more secure, and there'll definitely be less work for you because there'll be less updates that come through on your site all the time. In this tutorial, we're gonna be replacing maintenance mode and coming soon plugins, and there are literally millions of active installs for these types of plugins. And if you have any questions or comments throughout this video, please leave them down below. Let me know if you like this new series, or if you don't, or whatever else you want to talk about. My name is Bjorn Allpass in WP Learning Lab, where we help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your customers, and for your business. If you haven't done so yet, make sure you click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. Now let's get into the first video of the Plugin Killer series. In this first plugin killer tutorial, we're going to replace maintenance and coming soon plugins. And they are very popular. Here in the WordPress repository, we're looking at plugins for maintenance. We have for this one right here, 500,000 plus active installs, 1 million plus active installs for Seed Pro, 700,000 plus for that one, 100,000 plus here, 90,000 there, 40,000 there, 20,000, 30,000, 10,000. 10,000. If you add all those up, there's even more as well. But if you add all the ones up that I just listed right there really quickly, that is a lot of active installs. And all these people could use this plugin killer code that you're going to have after today and not use a plugin on their site for this. We could even add our IP address to the code so that we can still work on the site, but everybody else will see the coming soon or maintenance mode page. To make this happen, we have to add the code to our HT access file. I've logged into the cPanel of my SiteGround account. You can do this on any host that has cPanel and gives you access to the HD access file. You can also do this via FTP if you're more comfortable doing that. I'm going to click on File Manager and open the website that we're going to do this to, which is wpspeedify.com. I'm going to open the HD access file, click on it to highlight it, click on Edit, click on Edit again. And at the very top, I'm going to put a piece of code. This code, you could copy and paste from my blog. There's a link to that in the description down below. And you just copy the code, and then you paste it right in here. There's a couple important things in here. This file right here, this is a file that we have to create. This is gonna be where people are redirected when they try to visit the site. And here, we can enter our IP address so that we can see the real site and not the maintenance mode or coming soon. So first, let's make this file. Let's go back into our list of files and click on new file. I'm going to call it maintenance dash coming soon. It can be either. You can name it whatever you want, really. As long as you copy this, copy whatever the file name is, click on create new file. So we have that file right here. Then we go back into this code and we put that file name right in here, paste it. Make sure the forward slash and the bam or the exclamation mark precede it and make sure the dollar sign post seeds it or comes after it and then also replace this one right here and make sure the forward slash stays there. And now they'll be redirected to this page. And like I said, you can name this whatever you want as long as the file name you have here matches the file name here and matches the file name out here in the file list. This file right now is blank. So if I save this, go out to our website, wpspeedify.com and refresh, we are redirected to a blank page. We want to have some information here for people who are visiting this page and don't want to see a blank page. So we're going to add a bit of content into here by highlighting it, clicking it, click on edit, edit again, and type something in here. I wrote in, this page is currently undergoing maintenance. Please check back soon. Save that. And then come back out here, refresh. There's the message right there. That should be all you need when you're undergoing quick maintenance. This is actually it's very similar to the message that WordPress puts out here when the core files, the theme files, or plugin files are being updated. There's a message that looks very similar and sounds very similar to this one. But if you want to have something a little more nice to look at, or if you want to have a coming soon page with a countdown timer and an opt-in, which a lot of the plugins allow you to do, what you have to do is find an HTML page template. If you just Google HTML page templates, Coming soon, HTML template. You should be able to get one for free. Here's even a tutorial how to make one on W3 Schools. Make this one right here with the countdown timer. Looks like they give us the code and the JavaScript. So you know what? I'm just gonna copy this. 
Let's see if we can recreate this page really quickly without the background image. I'm going to copy the HTML, put it into this file here. I'm going to make this a valid HTML page. If you want to know what all this crazy stuff is that I'm doing here, this is called HTML. And I have a separate channel about HTML, CSS, JavaScript, PHP, all the programming languages that you customarily learn when you work with WordPress. I have a channel for that. I have a link to that in the description down below if you want to check it out. I will very soon be releasing a 50 tutorial series on that channel where I will show you how to create an HTML and CSS website completely from scratch. And it's gonna be pretty awesome. So if you wanna see that tutorial series, it's big, it's 50 videos, and it'll be on that channel. That's linked to in the description down below. So we have a valid HTML page, or more or less valid. Good enough for our purposes here. And in the head, we're gonna put the CSS. Let's copy all this CSS. Copy that. We have to put it inside of a style tag. Copy that in there and then get the JavaScript, which will create the countdown timer for us. Let's copy this. And I haven't tried this beforehand, so I don't know if this is going to work, but it should. It should. Let's add a JavaScript tag. And then we paste our code in here. And now I should be able to save this. And if that W3 Schools tutorial works, we should be able to, or we should have something that looks very much like this without the background image, because we don't have a background image that we're linking to. But everything else should be there. And it's probably gonna be in white. We can change the color in a minute. Let's see if that works first. Let's select everything, it worked. There's the, all the text coming soon, 35 days. If I change the color, let's change the font color, let's change it here to black, save, refresh, all the text is in black. There's no background image because we don't have one, like I said, but we could upload one to say WordPress or just into the root folder and then put the URL for the image in here and then it will use that image. So that's a pretty quick and easy coming soon page you want to use a coming soon page. If you find a different HTML template that you want to upload, I have a tutorial dedicated to uploading HTML templates to WordPress. I've linked to that in the description down below in the card up above as well. So we saw how to make a basic maintenance page and the coming soon page, and that's fantastic. Now let's talk about how we can escape your IP address so that you can still access this page. That is this piece of code right here. Currently, whoever has the IP of 123.123.123.123 can access the website. The likelihood of that IP existing is slim, and the likelihood of them visiting your site during maintenance mode or during the coming soon period is also slim. We're going to put our IP address in here. Let's look up what is my IP, and Google should return your IP address, whatever it is. And then we paste that right here. We save and refresh out here and we should see the website and we don't because we're on the HTML page. It does not redirect you back to the home page if you had your IP. You gotta go back to the home page or some other page on the site and here's our website. Just to prove to you that this works, if I change this back to 123123 and save and refresh, now it'll redirect us to that maintenance mode coming soon page, which is right here. If I go back to the home page, it's gonna say, no way, man. To the maintenance page until we turn this piece of code off and we turn it off just by erasing it we just erase it save and then go back to the home page and our sites back online one last thing about this code if we put that back we see right here we have a 302 this means that the redirect that's being created is a 302 redirect which tells search engines the redirect is temporary they should not change the URL of the home page in their database because it's going to come back. This is just a temporary redirect to this page for a short while and the regular pages will come back 
whenever that short while is over. If this was a 301, that would be a permanent redirect. And then search engines would change the URLs in their database and their search index and the search results to this new page here, which is what you don't want. If you have an existing site that you're doing maintenance on, that can kill your SEO. You don't want that. So always make sure, if you're getting this code from my blog or from somewhere else, that for this specific purpose, it says 302, not 301. And that's so easy it can be to replace a plugin on your site. If you want to check out more of the Plugin Killer series, check out this playlist right up here. This is where all the plugin killers are going to be. This is the first video, so it's the first one there. But over the next little while, I'm going to be adding a lot more to that playlist. So make sure you check out that playlist for more Plugin Killer videos. If you haven't done so yet, make sure to click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. And my name is Bjorn Allpass in WP Learning Lab. Until next time, keep crushing it, and I will see you in the next video.